In this video you're going to learn how to create a PDF document and secure it. To do that we're going to use a free software suite called OpenOffice. You can get OpenOffice at openoffice.org. Once you get there, click on Get OpenOffice and then you can download openoffice.org by clicking here. Then you need to pick your environment. For most of you that's probably going to be Windows. Just roll down, click continue to download. Little box will pop up. Just save the file to your desktop. And that'll take a minute to download. Once you have it all downloaded, click on the program and it'll open up. And now just go through and follow the wizard through to install it. Click Next. Read the license and accept it. Ask for your username and your company name. What you want to install, just take the defaults. What you want to open by default with this, if you don't have Microsoft Word, you can tell it to open Microsoft Word documents for you, Excel spreadsheets and PowerPoint. So you can select any one of those you want it to open by default. And then click install and away it goes. Then tells you to click finish when it's done and you now have OpenOffice installed. Then you can go ahead and delete the file you downloaded, the install file and you can also go ahead and delete the install uh, folder that it unzipped you don't need either of those and now you can go into your programs and open open office and you're going to want to open the open office writer in this case which is its word processor okay, and then we got the license agreement the first time you come in So click accept. And you can register whenever. And click finish. And now it'll open up the writer for the first time. Now presumably you have something already that you want to create a PDF with. In this instance, I'm just going to grab a document off my computer and I'm going to paste it in here just so I can show you how to create your PDF file. Okay, so here's your document. And then all you have to do to turn it into a PDF is click on File. And then down here, click on Export as PDF. Once that is done, you'll come up with some options here. This is for what you want to actually turn into the PDF all pages or you can pick certain pages whether you want to use loose list compression or JPEG compression for your images and that's just a will reduce this image size and JPEG compression is usually fine we have some general type of options here and usually you're going to want to take the defaults on all these what we're really interested in here is security to set a password you click encrypt the PDF and then you click on set password and you can set a password here we'll just call it password and then you confirm it click OK you can also restrict permissions and then you can give it a password for permissions we'll also call it password Now that you've set that, you can actually allow them or disallow them any of these options here. So if you don't want them to be able to print it, you can put printing not permitted. Changes not permitted, or you can insert and delete rotating pages, all of these things. You can either give them access to be able to do it or not do it. You can enable copying of the content. If you don't want them to be able to copy the content into their clipboard, you can disable that. 
and you can enable text access or disable it as well. Once you've got the, you're happy with all that, just click export and then it'll ask you where you want to save it and we'll just save it on the desktop in this case. We'll call it test and we're all done. So now if we open up test first thing it does is it comes up and asks us for a password. Okay, once we've keyed in the password now we are allowed to view the document. You'll notice that the print option isn't showing up and if we go in here you notice that the print option is blacked out so we can't print it. We also can't copy it. If we go into edit do a select all and do an edit you'll notice that copy is blacked out as well so it isn't going to let us copy anything into the clipboard. You can go into document and you can actually view the security settings and in here it shows you that we have disallowed several of these things. So that is how you secure a PDF document that way, if somebody were to find your document, if they don't have the password, it didn't do them any good. Well, that concludes the video on how to secure a PDF document.